Welcome to Tallahassee, Florida, and Dope Campbell Stadium, home to some great Heisman Trophy winners, legendary coaches, and today the Seminole War Chant will be rocking this place. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, the Florida State Seminole. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Seminoles will kick it away to start us off. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Colorado's offense will have the first possession of the game. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. That receivers don't usually lack confidence. And those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that swagger sets the tone for this offense. And Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep or else this guy's going to take it to the house. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. Just feeds the running back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. This crowd full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Coming out on first down with the play fake. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. They go for vertical, and I love that play call. This is one of the best receivers in the country. This play is tailor-made for him. He does a great job with the route. He understands coverages, and he's got a great catch radius. What a good play call for this particular play. Running back searching for a hole. Able to move it ahead a couple of yards. He gets it down to the 20. The noise level is relentless here on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Hunter. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the end route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. Shotgun snap on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. And he'll try to knock it through from 33 yards out. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive.
After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Seminoles offense will go to work for the first time today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give is to Williams. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That is a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting the backfield, making the play. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Back to throw, it's Uyunglele. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Knowles will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Bringing it back, it's Horn. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Hey, and I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Snagged in the middle. It's Horn. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Love the play call on the RPO. That time the defender bites on the run fake, and that opens up the window for the slant coming in behind it. Nice job. The Buffaloes in the hurry up. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Pulls it and fires to the left. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple of yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receiver somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. And the Buffaloes will punt it away on fourth down. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that pitch. Oh, look out! Right. Inside the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, no! And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. 
And unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes with the return. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. A little screen to the running back. And that completion good for a short game, but they still have some work to do to pick up the first down. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Now the play fake. Fires to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Hunter. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Colorado! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. And you can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. How about that start? This dude is in fuego. Over 100 yards receiving already. You could tell there's a matchup they like, and they're going to exploit it, continuing to feature this wide receiver who's just chewing up yards. And the extra point gives him a three-point lead at 10-7. to seven. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Here's the handoff. Got the first down and still on his feet. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. That is such a good run. I'll tell you, if you're going to put on a seminal helmet, you better be dangerous with the ball in your hands at the running back position, right? You think back to the late, great Bobby Bowden. He was always able to recruit a difference maker at that position. He would have loved to have this guy in his offense because it feels like he can score a touchdown every single time he has the ball. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chance. Man, as a quarterback, you've got to be careful. He's lucky there. If you miss high throwing over the middle of the field, oftentimes that results in interceptions. So lucky that ball was incomplete. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Dropping back into Uyangalale. Back open in the middle. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out. 
working on those critical down and distances, third downs, and having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. And the Knolls are moving quickly down the field. Trying to find his man on first down. He's got an open man. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Looking for the end zone. Fires into traffic and intercepted. When you get in the red zone, you can see as a defense, you get into your drops really quickly, and you get your eyes on the quarterback, and you try to read his eyes and break on the football. It's such tight windows to throw in. Great job by the defender breaking on the ball, creating the interception. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. It's a draw. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. third and long trying to have a big completion here and this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean and sometimes like on this play the dbs do a great job covering make the qb hold the football and then the rush gets home the buffaloes decide to punt it away doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Slips through the line. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. The give is to Williams. And he could not get loose on the run. Man, oh man, that ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front, too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have it. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Back to pass, it's Uyunglele. And that pass intercepted. Trying to take it back. Inside the 30. The 10. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Buffaloes! What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Out of the end zone. 
pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Handoff to the lone back. Bulls his way forward. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You've got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. He leaves it with his back. Tackled at the 28. It's a pickup of five. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Now on first down from the 28. Leaves it with the back. Makes his man miss. Gets it past the marker. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Seminoles will have it first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He wants to throw. He's going to run it. This senior quarterback never afraid to run it when he has to pick up a first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Caught in the backfield. It's Douglas. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Try and play action. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Threw a pick last time, almost threw another one. But you know what? I like the fact that this dude has no conscience. None. <laughs> Arm arrogance, right? He's going to spin the football, try to make plays. Like, listen, take the good with the bad, right? He's going to make some plays. He's going to give some away. Let's try to uh, do a little bit more of the playmaking as opposed to giving it to the other team. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They got a little bit, um, but they didn't get the first down, and you were obviously trying to get the first down, but you try to slip in those screens occasionally on third down. I like when you slip them in there and try to make a big play, catch the defense maybe being a little aggressive. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Well, there's the advantage of having versatility at the running back position on fourth down. Everybody in the stadium is expecting if you throw it, it's probably going to a receiver at tight end. But because of his ability to catch the football, he makes a huge play for this offense and keeps the drive alive. And he throws another interception, his third one of the night. He'll try to take it back. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bucks! How about that D coming up with a play like that? Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Lining up for the PAT. Oh, 
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. Second and ten after the previous play. Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. They'll give him a couple. That leaves him with third and eight. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Seminoles will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They try to pop a run on the draw. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run upfield. The offensive linemen kind of push them upfield, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. Looking to throw at Sanders. Gets it out quickly. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Got his man in the middle. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He unleashes a long one. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Colorado! You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. 
Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment, and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Finds his tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. There's got to be a sense of urgency for this offense right now. They're trailing. They're going to be kicking off to open the second half. So they need points. They need to go tempo. Maybe that last first down gets them a little bit of confidence. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He wants to throw it again. Got his man downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Love the accurate throw by the quarterback there. Curl route against man coverage. You got to put that right into the body of the wide receiver who's running back towards you. Nice job executing it, and they pick up the first. The Seminoles are in the hurry up. Wants to throw on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. To the air. It's Uyunglele. Find his man down the middle. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. They need the 40 to convert here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. The Seminoles will send out the punt unit. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Got his man quickly. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. I tell you, this slot receiver, he really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands. You saw it on that last play. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Wide open downfield. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. Boy, he almost finished his half with a bang, and are they lucky to get him stopped? They're eager to head to that dressing room right now. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great one in Tallahassee going on. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. 
They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Doak Campbell Stadium. The Buffaloes will kick it away first and will start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle. It's West. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can seem when you get a great pickup on first down and the tight end's a terrific place to go. Tight ends nowadays are kind of like cheat codes. I mean, they, they just know so much about right here. Seeing zone, no one to sit it down, boom. Positive yards, nice positive play for this offense. They'll try the run. The Knolls have a first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Knocked down at the 44, but he got 15 on that one. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. And the Knowles getting set on first and 10. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking to throw it to Uyangalale. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? When on that outbreaking route, really it's designed for the receiver to make the catch before falling out of bounds. Nice timing and anticipation by the quarterback on that throw. It's first and 10. They've moved it to the 41. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The hand to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I think a lot of quarterbacks like those defenses that will be passive and let you let it slowly develop. Nah, this defense, you could tell, they were aggressive and attacking, and it really paid off. His drive was clicking along, but now it's second and 14. To the ground with the back. Knocked down, but not before he crossed into the red zone and picked up four yards down to the 17. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. It's a draw. 
And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. It is true as he puts three on the board. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Got it in the middle, it's Horn. Makes the stop at the 33, but it's a 15-yard gain. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And the punishment has been extended. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field, and score. There is no end in sight for these guys. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. The give is to Williams. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe, second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They go to the draw. They finally make the stop at the big run. Is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Oh, what a great play call. Sneak in the draw. The defense clearly thinking pass, flying up the field. No, sir. A little handoff, a little sneak attack. Great play call. The Seminoles will snap it on first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. 
Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Caught near the sticks, it's Douglas. My job as offensive coordinator is to find my guys, find my playmakers, find my guys that can win one-on-one -on -one when they get an opportunity and that I can get them the ball and they can make something happen. He's one of those guys, and that's why I'm going to continue to force feed him. It's first and 10 from the 31. The give to the back. At the 20, he's got space. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it, and right now he's doing some damage on this defense. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll go to the ground. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Dropping back, it's Uyunglele. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And he'll try to knock through a short one, his second of the day, this one from 23. It's good. Now they'll kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Looking for a deep man. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. He finds a soft spot in the middle. Brought down at the 31 after a pickup of 10 yards on that one. The offense set for a first down play. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Little touch pass to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football, and you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. Let's see what they've got on second down. off the RPO. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. 
it's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. On the ground with the counter. At the 45 on his way. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And they just kind of sneaked that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. The give to the tailback. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. Open space at the 25. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. Yeah, and obviously this offense has had their way getting the huge lead. And now when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill. At running back, receiver, tight end, the quarterback making good decisions, it is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there in a similar situation with a lead like this. Uh, they'd definitely be running the ball at this point. Uh, they'd probably take their starting quarterback out of the game, potentially, but not this unit. They are still staying aggressive. They're still taking shots. They're just trying to light up the scoreboard. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Well, jet sweep pass. Touchdown, Buffs! And the route is on. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. 
The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Throws to the tight end. Connection to the right. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. He makes the connection. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chain. And the offense here dialed up a really good zone beater. Give credit to the offensive coordinator. He called the right play at the right time. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Hauls it in. Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Seminoles with the first and 10. Fires to the wide for the fourth time tonight. It's an interception. What a play he made. Makes the interception, then takes it back to the 36. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. A third and long coming up here. Out of the gun, the inside kick. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Well, they're able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would have liked to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession, give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get it. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David, no question about that, but they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this, this was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David, but I'll say this, if you're on offense, 
don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. You've got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those pods. Hit the afterburners, kid. I'm sorry, you're unlikely to win today, but here's a fabulous party. A late touchdown. Nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense has struggled, and you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. PAT unit on the field. Splits those uprights right in half. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're lining up to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he gets it up to the 36, it'll be a first down. Now the chance to take a knee and just put the finishing touches on this victory. Yeah, and this offense has done their job, man. They've been so productive, built the lead. Listen, their defense has pulled their weight as well. But now, Jesse, you get to exhale, you get to breathe, and you know we got the W, and we played well. And we got to think about where we're taking our girlfriend and parents for dinner, right? What side are we ordering with our giant steak? We've earned it in this game. Now it's time to go celebrate. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. After this, it'll be a wrap. Takes the handoff. It's Hayden. And they'll pick up just a few on this run, and that'll bring us to the end of the ballgame. 